going you guys welcome to the channel i'm matt splat tyree skate rat and i'm here to show you my trials and tribulations and all the hurdles i've gone through trying to get myself to thailand uh it's the start of april and it's about one year since I've been to Thailand. I was there last year for Songkran. I stayed a month. Uh, anyway, it's been a long journey. Uh, you know, my nephew and I have been making plans to relocate to Thailand and retire there. I'm now 61. I'll be 62 this winter coming. Um, uh, it's time for me to, you know, retire from that heavy workload I've done all my life. Uh, skateboarding and pretty much just fucking off snowboarding and working when I had to and even when I was married I you know I worked and I took care of the family and and I did what I had to do but you know I haven't really worked off that too much really not terrible a lot no but uh, I've always lived a semi retired lifestyle playing snowboarding wakeboarding skateboarding you know I'm a California boy through and through uh, I've been up here in North Idaho half my life 30 years now wow 30 years I've been here um, I've made my mark in this town but I lived a whole nother life before I even got here let me tell you that uh, a lot of people don't know about Matt Splat from San Diego and and California and everything I've done down there and uh, you know they just know me from up here in Sandpoint the Matt Splat of Sandpoint and uh, repping the Ground Zero snowboard team um, you know the first generation of riders when Ground Zero opened up and you know I rocked that team and supported them like a you know like I was trained down there in San Diego to be a team guy. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, you know, I made my mark in this town with the skate park. Uh, it took us 15 long years to get a skate park here and had a lot to do with that and good little part of life, but a lot of skateboarding had left me then. 15 years not skating really that much, you lose a little bit. I still enjoy it. I still try to get out there and keep my front side grind going. But uh, anyways, enough of that. Here we are, one year after my trip, and so when I got home, I went right back into work, got into that lifestyle, 12 hour day, not having a life, working, you know, half an hour from home to, you know, so there was an extra hour. I wasn't getting home till evenings. My life was pretty much cooked. I didn't have much of a social life here anymore and uh, work, work, work. And uh, so the previous year, I put about a thousand miles a week on my car for work. And it was a really nice car I worked my ass off for. You know, it was leather trim package. Nice Chevy. I was stoked on that car. So, 1,000 miles a month for three months and, you know, 14, 16 hour long days. You know, nothing's open when you get home. You can never get your oil changed. Whatever. So, anyways, long story short, a month after I got home from Thailand, my car blew up. Damn! There it goes. I had to throw away a $15,000 car. So that was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back. Now, granted, when I was in Thailand, I met Safan, and that encouraged me to uh, step up my plan, and I had a two to three year plan in the works of retiring to Thailand. And that was to pay everything off and focus on Thailand, two to three years. That was the plan. My nephew and I had a plan. That went out the window when the car blew up. So when the car blew up, Matt said, fuck it, we're going now. So here I am. So as you can see, I got a little work to do on this house. Got to throw some lipstick on this pig and we're going to get her on the market in the springtime. So as you can see, I got the lot split, getting things on eBay, selling the stuff, going through the cabinets going through the closets finding stacks of photos all sorts of memorabilia it's hard to go through all this stuff i'm sending things to family uh you know photos and things like this i can't take it all with me so this is what i'm doing to prepare for my big move there's a lot to do when you're moving international and you can't bring it with you you know if you're liking what you see go ahead and subscribe hit the little like button down there that'd be really cool help support the channel like and share the video if it helps you out hopefully it helps somebody all right all right good morning you guys hey there's uh been a lot of development going on um right now it is uh middle of january getting into the middle of january we got snow all over the place um i'm having to make some harsh decisions on what to do in the morning yesterday i went snowboarding in the morning and came back home to work on the bathroom today we got even more snow so i have to make a decision to stay home because we got a cold snap coming for the weekend i'm going to get going on the bathroom i've already got it half torn out 
as you can see there's a vanity there's all sorts of crap laying around the house now I got a bunch of stuff going on we're tearing apart the bathroom getting ready we're getting ready for for paint in the bathroom uh, new vanity as you can see uh, new medicine cabinet lights and all this so um, I'm ready for paint uh, we got work to do here I'm waiting for my bud Matt Hatter to get over here and start doing some mud work for me uh, got a little bit of work to do in the back bedroom not much we're gonna paint the kitchen we're gonna paint the front room here we're also going to paint this room in here. Paint my bedroom. Get it all looking good. Get rid of all these cobwebs. Kind of update some things. I just talked to my realtor this morning. Things are looking good. Sandpoint is a very desirable area. With the new buyers on the mountain, some huge outfit out of Colorado. This place has turned into uh, a veil. That's the reason I'm getting out of here. Uh, it's ran its course. I'm done. So we're looking at close to $600,000 total purchase price which will put me well above where I want to go. My target figure is about 425 to have a total bankroll over there. Um, not that I'm going to be spending that money. That money, now we're looking at 500000 or more, will be parked into an account. I'll be earning money off of that. My interest earned will be my monthly budget. So I'm shooting for a $2,500 budget before Social Security. Um, I think if the house goes... According to plan, I'll be in that, that neighborhood. It's out of my hands. Yep, and into your nephews. <laughs> there it goes, Tyson. As you can tell, we are making a fucking... Uh, we are making a mess in here. As you can tell, I can see my batteries running low, so I'm just going to be real quick. We're moving along getting progress done, getting out of the mudroom, into the kitchen now, we're out of the bathroom, working our way around the house, getting all this lipstick on this pig. She's going to the county fair soon, folks, and I'm going to Thailand. All right, you can see we're making some mad progress on the house. I got that hole in the lid up there all covered up and getting patched up. My neighbor and old buddy Hatter has helped me out there. He's been coming over doing all the mud work. Otherwise, we'd be looking at more metal on the wall if i did the mud work there'd be metal on the ceiling i'm not the greatest mud or drywall guy but he's helped me out a lot we're making a lot of progress moving right along room by room we're way, working our way out oh boy wow last couple of weeks been pretty crazy finally sold my car that blew up that started this whole I'm finally out of here thing. So I sold the car for 600 bucks and got it out of here. Same week, I made $300 on eBay and now I've made another uh, close to $500 this week, week on eBay and got the news that uh, come down, sign the papers for the lot line adjustment. We're in the final stages, we're in the final push. So went down, signed the papers. He said, go pay off the property tax, make sure that's all cleared off. So I went down, paid the property tax, all that. Getting ready to ship off some more stuff, making all kinds of money, selling my 45s, my punk rock 45s, making bank. I'm ready to sell my punk rock album. I'm gonna make some more bank. But so I get a phone call from my survey guy. He says, Oh man, I overlooked this thing. The city wants this, this, and this. Oh, but this pertains to you. So you gotta take down your fence and any existing structure on that on that lot that we want. So I've got to tear down my studio, my garage, where I have everything, which is putting a little cramp in the whole plan. So I wasn't expecting that. So I got to do that before the city will sign off. So I'm in, in the midst of sending everything everywhere, eBay and everything, doing everything. Got rid of the shovel head the other week. So that's gone. So I just got to yard sale everything, do a garage sale over the next couple of weeks. My old boss will come up and bring his little mini backhoe and come in and just do a quick sweep of that side of the yard and clean everything up. We'll be done in a day. So I just got to sell everything and we'll be done. Okay, well that's a little quick update. Just want to keep you guys updated on what's happening and uh, the progress along. Making progress on the house, moving out of the kitchen, gonna start painting the rest of the room. As you can see, stuff's piling up. I gotta get rid of this crap. Well, here it is, the end of February, and I was not expecting this. So I'm right in the middle of a yard sale, garage sale in the studio, because I had to tear I have to tear the studio down now in order to complete this lot line adjustment. So we got some some shit going down there. 
and I'm trying to get all that taken care of do a yard sale sell all my big ticket items but now we've got this coming so what's that gonna do that means I gotta go snowboarding today because I'm trying to make it a good year still and it hasn't been so good so far so we're gonna go snowboard oh my god okay you guys so a lot's happened since the last time I gave you any update on my last update you can see the lot line stake right over here we got the lot line going but uh, I went down and signed the papers just the other week just last week and so I signed the papers and my survey guy tells me okay we're on the finish line we're on the race to the finish line okay great I've been waiting this place should have been sold freaking months ago so so everything on this side of the lot line on this side of the stake has to come down that includes this and this so my entire shop so what's been happening since Friday since I found out so I found out on a Friday, it's now Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, so what happened? So it happened on Friday. Friday it started snowing. I couldn't do a yard sale because it's snowing. I'm trying to sell stuff out of my garage, but it's snowing and I want to go snowboard and it's snowing all week and I'm trying to sell things. And then on Wednesday of last week, I got hurt. I got taken out first run at the start of a snowstorm. I pulled my back muscle and I threw my back out. And I couldn't move. So last Wednesday and Thursday, I'm down Thursday night. I can't move. Friday, I see a guy and he fixes me and I'm still trying to sell stuff. So I've sold everything in here. It's all been sold. Everything's going to be gone. It's going to be empty. I'm going to have this place torn down next week. So you'll see a backhoe next. That's what's happening next. Oh my God. This studio has seen a lot of parties. These are some old photos. There's Stan Royball right there. Tom Rep. Yeah, right there, Tom Rep. I believe that's Kellogg. There's Matt Splat at the El Cortez in the Castle Contest. Yo, Harry. There's Matt at the La Mesa Pool, the Tweaker Bowl. Larry Talbot. Oh yeah, my card. Yep, lots of memories in here. Lots of memories. Yeah, next you'll see. Guess I'll have to take that sign down. The studio, wow, all this is gonna come down. We're gonna be pulling this down soon. So, my God, a lot's happening. I'm getting rid of everything. We've been doing a lot of remodeling, restoring inside rather, not remodeling, but restoring. So, making some progress in the house. New door, getting some paint going. We'll get some trim, new floor. I'll have a wood floor down, painting everything. And we got the light fixed. Nice. New appliances will be in here. Roommate moved out. So we got a little work in here to do. A little repaint. A little restore. And a lot of cleaning. Because nobody cleaned this room for the last seven or eight years since Homeboy lived in here. Yep. Yeah. We still got work to do in here. Had her started a little bit right there. We're gonna move into here, do paint, and trim, and we gotta do the same thing into here. Clean all this out. All this will have to go. We got the shop empty. You can see I've sold everything, even though I hurt my back last week during a powder storm. I sold everything. I need to sell the door. I've sold the roof. I got my young friend Corley up there tearing it off. He's buying it for his landlord. So we're getting the roof out. The backhoe will be here in three days. Besides tearing down the studio right now, I got my buddy here doing some paint work. We're still doing the work in the house. Mm -hmm. So that's still got to happen. So I'm trying to stay forward on that as well.
This would be the crunch and munch technique. Wow, you guys, it's been a long run in that studio. 30 fucking years of fucking memories. Got the drain, there it goes in the dumpster. Well, as you can see, Clay made short work of this. This is the following morning. He'd been here one day, studio's gone, everything is, is away, it's all in the dumpster. So, this is where I'm at right now, Thursday morning, trash truck's going around. They didn't pick up anything out of the dumpster here because we took it to the dump. Clay's got a little bit of cleanup to do, and we're done, dude. Two days, shit's over. Thailand, here I come. Oh yeah, we're making progress in the room. Getting all the details in. Window trim's coming in, floor trim. Gonna trim out this room, paint it. Hatter's finishing out. The back bedroom, getting the details in there. And of course, Clay has made as I showed you this morning, very quick work of things. Look at this. Fucking done. Two days. Two days, people. Bam. Now you remember Rock Springs Excavation up here in Athol, Sandpoint, Coeur d'Alene, all that good area. Oh my God, this thing is dirty. So much dust in the house. Getting things done. Nice. Clay's gonna make this place look really good when he when he walks out of here with that machine. All right. Time to finish up my finish trim. Yours truly is doing the finish work. Gotta get her done. You don't see anything behind me because it's pretty much been sold. My snowboard is, uh, we got a week left on the mountain. I'm gonna end up giving that to Poochies. I got a wakeboard left. I got a bit of clothes left. I've got a pile of shit for the yard sale and I don't have much. So you'll see the documentation of everything I've just gone through. Uh, trying to do a lot line adjustment and get that going. So I still got that in the works. I'm waiting for that to finalize. We're gonna sell the lot, then I'll finish up what I have to do in the house, which is just a little bit on the outside. Been working our butt off inside, painting inside, uh, doing all sorts of work. I've still got appliances and window treatment to do and finish the floors. I'm right in the middle of sanding the floors this weekend. So sanding the floors, refinish the old wood floors. Um, then we're gonna get the house listed and as soon as, you know, we get the lot line adjustment done, split the properties, get the lot listed, then we're gonna sell the house. So there's been a lot of steps too. That's getting rid of everything and having to tear down my garage. Oh my God, oh, that was a whole nightmare in itself. Yeah, so uh, pretty much I've sold everything. I'm down to my motorcycle and my truck and a bit of clothes and a bed and some furniture and some TVs and that's about it. And uh, I've been selling, giving and throwing away things. Uh, Lots of memories, going through lots of lots. So there's gonna be that. You're gonna go through lots of memories and you're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. And you know, I've been handing a lot of stuff down to my daughter, a lot of family heirlooms, uh, stuff I got from my parents, uh, a lot of photographs. Oh my God. Dude, this guy, I kept a lot of things. I've been eBaying the shit out of all my skate memorabilia. Been making some money. I've made $3,000, more than $3,000 in the last four months. So that's help. Uh, things have slowed down on that. Kept me at the post office every day for three months, uh, literally. Um, good thing it's a small town. So 
Been doing that, selling everything, getting the house in order, getting ready to sell that. You know, there's things like this you gotta do. Depending on how much stuff you have, you gotta get rid of it all. Moving overseas is not an easy task. Um, I don't plan on putting anything in storage other than my motorcycle. Um, so I've already sent my passport in to be renewed because I'm gonna extend to 10 year from this point. So that'll give me a longer deal, deal with that here. I'm gonna renew my driver's license get that extended as far as I can. I'll get an international driver's license before I go. The clock starts ticking when the house sells. And when the house sells, that escrow time is my is my timeline. So what I hope happens, and you know, this is Thailand, tick, nothing goes according to plan. I plan on listing that lot and selling it. I plan on finishing the rest of the house and getting it all tidied up and I plan on hopping on my fucking badass Green Envy and taking off for at least a couple of weeks on that motorcycle and head west, head to the coast, go see some friends, probably go see some family, and go say some goodbye. Uh, God damn it. Yep, hop on that bike, go take off for a couple of weeks. So there's still a lot more to do. I'm trying to do the groundwork, get the passport and all that. Once I get the monies in order, then I'll worry about the banking and living off my budget. And if everything goes right, I should be sitting on 500,000 bucks or, or more. And we're gonna park that in the bank. I'm gonna live off that budget. Social security will be next year when I come back. So it's been a long, long journey. I just wanted to get this out there. There's probably more to come. Thanks for watching. If this is helpful for anybody, please like and subscribe and share. Check out my other videos. Um, I've made a few along the way. I've had to give things away, send the shovel head off. You'll see everything I've done. Done. There's been a lot of things I've had to do. Selling and giving things away and you know, be saying goodbye to fam friend. Peace out, you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, Matt Splat, Tyree Skate Rat. See you in Thailand soon enough.